How's it going, guys? My name is Dade Elza, and I play Fred Jones. And I'm Jessica Chancellor, and I play Daphne. Hi, guys. My name is Diane Hutton, and I play Velma. What's up, guys? My name is Chris Villain, and I play Shaggy. Hi, I'm uh, Dante Yor, and I'm the director of Mystery Inc. Mystery Incorporated is a really unique idea and take on the property of Scooby-Doo, Where Are You, the old cartoons from the 70s. I grew up really, really enjoying those. My mom really got me into it, and it was kind of a way for my mother and I to just hang out together and enjoy something. And I wanted to take that and bring that to a new generation. So we kind of just created this world in which Scooby-Doo exists in almost the filter of Supernatural and Riverdale squashed together to where the monsters are real, the danger is real, and the relationships are just as complicated and crazy as you would see in any of those worlds. We wanted to take the characters that you know and love and put a nice modern spin on them. Put them in a world that you're not used to seeing them in and where you're going to definitely be surprised. I, I think the cool part about Mystery Incorporated is the fact that we're kind of reinventing the origin story a little bit of Scooby-Doo. I mean, when we, when we pick up the story, when we're starting in episode one, our pilot episode, we're actually entering into Coolsville, and this is a reimagining of what Coolsville is. It's a real place, mom and pop shops, and we're kind of seeing the, you know, different political struggles and social economical struggles that exist within Coolsville and within our characters. Um, the other thing we're seeing is, is our uh, characters aren't a group yet. They're, they're not out solving mysteries yet. They're not out, you know, piled in a van touring the country and trying to solve these, you know, ghostly kind of things. They actually, you know, attend the same high school, but they're not really in the same social groups. And that's kind of an interesting thing to see what's gonna, you know, be the events that bring them together and what are gonna be those moments that actually kind of, you know, spawn that relationship that we as an audience are so used to seeing throughout the years with, you know, the characters of Scooby-Doo. In this version, Fred is almost a tortured soul. Uh, we find him right after tragedy hits. His parents are gone. Uh, in this version, things happen. The real world is there. People die. And unfortunately, in this case, it was his parents. And you'll see that affect him throughout this series. And it affects what he does, why he does it, who he interacts with, and why. And his whole reason for being is in order to avenge them. And it's really cool to see how that shapes the world of Mystery Incorporated, why these four people and the dog are brought together to go after these monsters and why. And it's really cool to see. This version is Velma. She's more of your hipster girl. Um, she doesn't want to be bothered by people. She kind of has her own idea of what's going on. Obviously still a nerd, loves to read, got the glasses, but it's more of your, yeah, hipster. I love that. <laughs> um, this version of Shaggy's interesting because it made, I think, the character more, way more complicated than uh, he comes off in the cartoon. Um, this version of Shaggy kind of deals with the problems of day-to-day -day life with things like maybe like drugs or alcohol and um, obsessive eating and when he's not doing these things that's where the kind of shakiness and um, him being scared comes from and uh, the painting the layers of that on makes it really interesting but I think visually and at the end of the day it doesn't stray too far from the original Shaggy it's just kind of adding those extra layers that makes it more interesting. Daphne is your typical socialite very privileged you know raised with a golden spoon in her mouth um, and she's very used to taking her feminine wiles and her, her abundant money and solving every problem she comes across. And it's gonna be very interesting to see her in a situation where none of those things apply. She has no control and she's thrown into a world that she knows nothing about. And um, I think we're gonna see another side of Daphne that's really gonna surprise you. We have an amazing cast and crew on this project. They are experienced, they are turning out high quality work. I mean, you've seen the trailer and that's what we did with very little funding. So imagine what we could do with all of your help. This is going to be a full-fledged show. The production value is going to be on par with everything you're seeing on TV. And I think even watching the teaser, that's very apparent that we've kind of come to play in this marketplace and really deliver this hour-long episodic that is just as good as anything you're watching on television today, if not better. Our plan is to create a rich universe full of the characters you know and love, but painted with a different brush, more modern, 
gritty, scary even. You're gonna see so many nods to nostalgia, but in modern times. Absolutely, we have all sorts of characters planned out that you know and love from different facets of the Scooby-Doo universe, all playing pivotal roles in this show. Hex Girls, Minor 49er, Speed Racer might even show up, who knows? Like we have so much planned and it's gonna be a sight to see. This is only the beginning.